All right, here we are. It's uh, early July 2014. I'm at Loon Point Cottage on beautiful Tamarack Lake, and I'm here to show you the most wonderful thing that's ever been installed at Loon Point Cottage. It is the composting toilet system. We thought the Shitstar 3000 septic tank was pretty cool, but this is awesome. All the stuff that uh, passes through our bodies becomes organic material used to fertilize out in the uh, woodlot beside the cottage to keep the wildflowers and such in check without any harmful emissions going into the soil. So how does this thing work? Well, let's just take a look. Here we are in the bathroom. As you can see, this is the toilet. It is a VF800. It is a top of the line Dometic toilet. These are often used in the marine industry. And the company Envirolet that we purchased the system from has adapted it to be used for uh, composting cottage type systems. And it uses vacuum and water in a very clever, creative way that works brilliantly. So um, no smells, none of the stuff usually associated with composting systems, uh, just um, uh, basically dirt and at the other end and the urine and the, the water in the urine gets evaporated. So there's nothing that goes into the soil whatsoever and it's uh, completely benign to the environment. So, okay, let's just do a little demo here because we've worked so hard to install this and it might be a little interesting to see how it works. So your basic toilet. It's ceramic, it's a high quality unit, it has a flush handle on the side. There's a toilet brush there which really we might as well throw away because those that's associated with usual water toilets like high water toilets. This is a low flush system, it uses less water than a regular one does and um, uh, it doesn't require such a thing. Now I've gone around the cottage and picked out bugs and stuff <laughs> and put them in the toilet. Uh, along with a piece of toilet paper. We use special toilet paper that is uh, septic friendly. It dissolves almost instantly in water, so it's very, um, uh, it's less um, damaging to the system or less, it doesn't wear the system down so much and it can't plug or plug or clog the system. So um, anyways, I picked up some bugs and stuff and crushed them with <laughs> toilet paper and put them in the toilet and uh, they're gonna be our demonstration rather than having to look at my human feces. So here we go, there's the stuff. There's the basic situation. Everybody's pretty familiar with this setup. Just your basic toilet, nothing really too, too exciting or really too interesting about it, which is probably what makes it exciting. There's nothing different about it. So we hit the button. You can see it introduces a little bit of water. There you go. Very much like on an airplane. It's the same idea. It just kind of goes swoosh and goes. Now, where does it go to? Well, that's a really good question. Let's just take a trip outside, head up the hill. It takes about a minute for the system to, uh, to regenerate. But here we are at the remote composting system. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the pump pumping. Right now it's recreating the vacuum to basically reset it. It takes about one minute between flushes for the system to, um, to recapture uh, the vacuum to get it ready. So you can hear right now it is pumping. It's making a pumping noise. That's a transformer at uh, our inverter too. It takes the AC current and actually rectifies it to 12 volt DC because the pump runs off 12 volt DC. Oh, it just clicked off. It's now ready. Now, the big question, where did the stuff go? <clears throat> well, Loon Point has a dual tank system. There's one, there is the other. These are composting tanks, and uh, you could go with a single system. We decided to have a dual system just to uh, give the, the, the cottage more capacity. Um, there's no reason not to, as far as I could tell or could think. So I was able to get uh, two systems fairly cheaply on Kijiji. Uh, one brand new but used, the other one used and used. Uh, I reconditioned the used one, put new stuff into it, and it's the same basic uh, deal as the brand new one. So I have refurbished it to brand new standards, and it seems to be working beautifully. There's two fans and a heating element in each one of these tanks, which... Um, 
basically evaporate the the liquid the liquid that's in in the waste and uh, uh, the heating element helps with that and so do the fans. The fans aerate the material to turn the solids into soil. Good organic soil. Very fertile, rich soil. So you probably wonder, okay, well, where did that stuff go? Well, once it got pumped through the vacuum system, it goes through a, a, mas a macerator, macerator, which basically grinds up the stuff and then puts it into these tanks. You can see that there's a, a line which splits and goes either left or right to uh, evenly distribute the material between the two tanks. This is a service panel that I will lift and it will show exactly what's, uh, what's going on in here. Now, um, what you see down there isn't what you're thinking. It's actually peat moss and enriched soil and some compost accelerator to get the composting going. Um, it's not what you think it is. <laughs> I've only ever done one poop in the system. It worked fine, and that's not enough to fill up the container like the way you see it here. But uh, inside there, there's an aerator, which you push back and forth with these levers at the front. This, this one here is an aerator lever, and this one here is a rake. You do this frequently to keep the mass aerated, meaning letting air get into it. And before you're ready to dump the tray, which is down here, which you do in every six months, you give this lever a pull and back and forth, and it helps some of the dry stuff to drop down into the tray. So it's, they call it a rake. But a uh, very simple system. You'll notice that there's a clear plastic tube here at the bottom. This is an overflow. Uh, both tanks have an overflow um, outlet, which uh, if there's too much liquid, in the system, it will overflow and it'll go, go into those tubes and go down the hill into a class three cesspool, which is located basically where the uh, where that uh, um, wheelbarrow is right now. Directly below it is a tank, uh, which um, leaches it into the soil after giving it a chance to break down and decompose. So that's just the excess liquid that could come out of the system. Given that we have two tanks here, it's a dual system, it's highly unlikely that the overflow will ever get used. There's just so much capacity here, even with a full complement of people here, staying here uh, continuously. It would be very difficult for it to exceed the capacity. People just don't give off that much liquid. So um, the system itself, each one of those tanks is good for uh, eight, eight people, full-time residential use or 10 people if used on a vacation part-time usage. So basically I've got capacity here for 16 people full-time. Uh, that's a lot of people and um, there's no worries on my end that we would ever exceed that. Typically when we rent the cottage the most we allow in is about 10 people. So we're our capacity is way above our our true requirements which is good. I guess it's better to over-engineer than under-engineer. This shed here took me forever. It was not an easy project, but uh, seems to work very well. Very happy with it. I uh, just completed it. Um, after the liquid gets evaporated, it goes up the stacks to the very top. You can see those whirly birds at the top. That helps to, uh, uh, to basically to get rid of the, the liquid that's in here. It comes, basically it steams off or evaporates off and uh, ultimately gets, it's just, it's just water. It gets released in the air. The solid, the, the non-water part of the liquid that goes into the tanks becomes part of the compost. So this is not emitting anything toxic into the air. It's just steam, it's just water. Uh, other things cannot go up the pipe. They, they, they're heavier than air, so they will never go up there, which is good. I guess that's good for the environment and uh, also just helps get rid of that liquid that's in your waste. It has to go somewhere, it might as well go in the air, at least just the liquid part. So that's fine. Very um, very clean to the environment. Very uh, very good system. You can hear these these fans humming away. They seem to be doing their job quite well. And uh, well, the upshot of the whole thing is that uh, to put a septic system into Loon Point Cottage would have been a daunting task because we're on a rock, and in fact, any septic system 
on this lake is is a danger. It's a toxic problem. Uh, the waste material, solids and liquids, just go into the aquifers. You know, the the uh, bacteria helps to kill a lot of the things that are toxic about our waste, but they're not perfect. And septic systems are expensive, and they do put emissions into the aquifers, which is something that we need to consider on this planet. A composting system is completely separate from the rest of the environment. It's a contained system, therefore much better for the environment. And uh, that's the primary reason why I chose it. The secondary reason is cost. Uh, for me to put a septic system on Loon Point Cottage would have cost me somewhere approaching $30,000. And even then, just like my last system, it could fail because of the amount of rock that's underneath the ground. Basically, we're on a big rock. Where's that, where's that stuff going to go? It can't go down into the, you know, into the earth and, and dis, you know, disseminate that way. It can't. It just basically has to slide along and then it goes into the lake. And that's, and, and that's not good, obviously. So, and for the privilege of having that kind of a system, it would have cost me about $30,000 because the old bed failed and was, would have to be remediated or... I would have to choose a new site for the septic bed, which means up here on this woodlot over here, which is up on a way on a hill and way on the far end of my property. And uh, it wouldn't require a pump to get the material up there. And then once it get up, gets up there, it's got the same rock underneath it. Um, it would have caused the same problem that created a problem with my old septic system. So for me, this was a good plan. I think, uh, Envirolet has come to the market with a, a sensible product. Um, what makes this system, I think, better than other composting systems made by other companies is that they've addressed the problem of nobody wants an outhouse in their building. And that's what conventional composters really are, is kind of like an outhouse in your, in your building, which I have an outhouse. <laughs> it works really well, actually, but I don't want it inside my cottage. Um, Envirolet has come to market with a, a very good product that uses, uh, it actually borrows from the marine industry. Uh, that toilet that you saw was actually a marine toilet and uh, used on, you know, boats and also for mobile homes and, and recreational type vehicles. So they've adapted that, which is a clean system. You know, you don't, you don't have that lingering smell in your bathroom. And they introduce water into it, which people like. We're used to water toilets. We're, we're happy with the water closet. It, you know, Thomas Crapper came up with a good idea there, and generally. And it's worked well for centuries. And it kept this, the odors away from the room, which is in the building. So, And pumps it up to where it's supposed to be, which is in these tanks. So uh, by, by combining the marine head with the conventional composter tank, I think Envirolet's really come up with a, a winner that uh, works really well. The only drawback to this system is that um, uh, there is a, an electrical cost. Like, it uses electricity. You can hear those fans in the background. There's two per tank, so I have four fans and two heating elements, which are thermostatically controlled, so at least they're not going to be consuming energy continuously. But I can imagine my electricity bill will be affected by this compared to a septic system which generally doesn't require electricity generally some some do some require a pump so uh, and mine would have if I had replaced in order to replace my system so anyways this is the the system as I see it um, I purchased the two tanks and the pump off used off Kijiji and my total cost going in including the cost of digging a leaching bed for the or cesspool for the overflow of the composter um, plus a leaching pit for the gray water emissions from my cottage because of course this is only good for the toilet that's all it's good for it doesn't handle the sinks or the shower so um, in order to have gray water uh, treatment i had to install a leaching bed basically come in with, with the excavator and dig a big hole in your yard and with cinder block make a, a tank and um uh, the total cost for everything is about $8,000. So I figure I came out $22,000 ahead of the game. And I, another good thing about this system is if anything ever breaks down, with a, with a conventional septic system, you have to dig it up. And that's expensive. Once you've got equipment on your property, 
just floating it in. It's, you know, if you live on an island, you know, it's crazy. Crazy costs associated with getting big equipment in. And then there's stone, and then there's remediation potentially, and huge costs. With this, you're looking at it right here. That's basically the whole system right there. If anything has to get replaced, it can. It's all above ground. It's not stuck down on the ground. So therefore, the repair is relatively easy should it need a new fan system or heating elements or any other components of the system they can be replaced fairly fairly cheaply and fairly quickly and with minimal headache because again it's all above ground stuff so that's uh, i think a plus that that i like anyway uh, so uh, in about six months time i will be removing those panels those access panels that you see at the bottom there with the thumb screws I will be removing those and there's a tray in there and I will take the trays and I'll walk out to the woods up here or maybe in my front garden area down here which I just uh, seeded for wildflower and I will take the the material that's left at the bottom of the tray which is pure rich soil fer fertile soil and I'll spread it around and uh, make my flowers grow better so it's you know there's something kind of magical about that or you know maybe romantic i don't know um that's kind of cool you're taking your stuff that's toxic that uh, damages the planet generally and turning it into something that'll make flowers like you know how do you how do you not be impressed by that so anyways that is the loon point cottage new composting septic system and uh if anyone has any questions they want to ask about it, I'd be delighted to talk to you. My number is 416-432-7067. And uh, have a happy poop. Bye-bye.